Picture this. It's a warm summer day, you're lying on a sunny beach, and you accidentally drift off to sleep in the hot sun. Just how damaging is that exposure to ultraviolet rays, and how long in the sun is too long before risks for skin cancer start to rise? This is the dark side of the sun. A lot depends on skin type. According to a rating scale known as the Fitzpatrick Skin Type Test, or the Fitzpatrick Phototyping Scale, there are six different skin types, and each type responds differently to ultraviolet light. People with light skin and light features are categorized as type 1 or type 2. They're usually likely to burn and will occasionally tan when exposed to UV light. Type 3 people are usually light skinned with any color hair, burn mildly, and tan uniformly. People who are type 4, 5, or 6 have darker skin, rarely or never burn, and typically tan well. Despite the varying susceptibility to sunburns, people of all skin types are at risk of skin cancer. Technically speaking, all tanning is a form of sunburn. When a person tans, the process occurs in two phases. First, an initial darkening occurs as cells exposed to the sun proliferate to thicken, causing changes in melanin. Then, after 24 hours, a delayed pigment darkening occurs due to increased production of melanin and growth of pigment cells in the skin. According to Dr. Michelle J. Farber, a board-certified dermatologist at Schwager Dermatology Group in New York City, the risk of skin cancer can increase after just a single burn. And after five burns, the risk of melanoma doubles. When a person gets a sunburn, several things happen biologically that could lead to skin cancer. In addition to causing pigment shifts, exposure to UV rays can cause damage to cell DNA. Once damaged, these cells can form mutated DNA pairings, a process that causes a proliferation of atypical cells which could, in turn, lead to cancer. And as we age, the risk of skin cancer rises due to cumulative exposure to the sun. Other factors like family history and certain genetic mutations also play a role. Location and the elements are another consideration. The riskiest places on the planet are near the equator and in low ozone areas and water, snow, and sand all reflect UV rays, which can increase the risk of overexposure. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the United States, with an estimated 9,500 Americans diagnosed every day. More than 1 million Americans live with melanoma, and according to the Academy's research, an estimated 9,320 Americans will die of melanoma in 2018 alone. Here's what you can do. Wear sunscreen and opt for a high SPF. The minimum suggested threshold for SPF is 30 with broad spectrum coverage and reapplying sunblock is recommended every two hours to ensure skin is properly protected from the sun.